you. Hi, hi, have you heard from Jason? Because he hasn't returned one of my calls, and neither have you for that matter. Well, I've been busy at work, and yes, I did hear from Jason. What did he say? Well, first he said that he did everything he could for Brenda, and he was on his way home. Yes! Okay, great. When's he getting back? Uh, that's where the second message comes in. <laughs> he said that he wasn't sure when he was coming back because Brenda needed more help. How can he let himself be manipulated by Come this? Come on, Carly. He's not being manipulated by Brenda. She's in genuine danger. Oh, Sam, wake up. You know what? You need to wake up and fight for your man. You need to get on a plane to Rome and put a stop to this before Brenda helps herself to the best thing that's ever happened to you. <laughs> You mean the best thing that's ever happened to you? I'm not threatened by Brenda. I trust Jason. It's something you might want to try and do yourself. I know Jason says that Brenda drives him crazy, but there's a weird bond there, and you're going to stand there and tell me you don't care that Jason dropped everything to fly off to Rome just because she needed him? No, Brenda needed protecting. That's what Jason does best. I am not insecure about that. So you're gonna stay here and do nothing. You just don't care. Oh, Carly, you are the one that has her panties in the twist over this, and I can see why, actually. Because you and Brenda actually fill a very similar place in Jason's life. You're both very high-maintenance women that he feels obligated to help. You know what? Don't even think about comparing Jason's misguided whatever that he has with Brenda to what Jason and I have. You're absolutely right, Carly. There are many differences. I mean, you, of course, are much closer to Jason than Brenda is. So if you're feeling so threatened and insecure, by all means, hop on a plane to Rome and go stake your claim. I got Trinity's mom to drop me off. I told her you'd give me a ride back home, if that's okay. Of course, yeah, of course. Actually, I just ordered some Chinese food if you want to stay and eat with me. Oh, thanks, but I already ate. You already ate. Sit down. What's on your mind? I went over to Uncle Sonny's house, mm -hmm. and now I really wish I hadn't. Why? Well, Christina got her senior pictures, and she wanted Uncle Sonny to have one, but she didn't want to look like she cares too much. Okay. So she had me bring them. And when I got to Uncle Sonny's house, guess who was there? Who? Claire Walsh. Who? All right, well, I, I can't say that I'm not surprised. Well, it's obvious he's getting seriously involved with her, and Christina's gonna hate it. Uh, oh, yes, uh, she probably will, huh? Actually, I hate it, too. I mean, Uncle Sonny gave me this whole speech about how he's an adult and he can date who he wants, and I really tried to listen, but... I'm sorry. I just can't believe he's dating the federal prosecutor who put Michael in prison. Well, Sonny says Claire didn't mean for Michael to go to prison. Well, I believe that's true. But it still feels wrong that he's dating her. Well, Sonny probably justifies it because of all the kind of really cool stuff that she's done. I mean, if you think about it, she is the one who got Jason into prison so he could protect Michael and got him right back out again. Now you're justifying. Come on. Drink this. Cut me some slack. I'm trying to be the wise older sister here. Well, it's just that Christina's going to use this as another reason to be mad at her dad. Okay, listen, I'm not really a big fan of Claire Walsh, but Chrissy's going to have to realize that Sonny is the only father she's got. So you're saying she should just smile and make nice whatever he does? Uh, no. Okay, listen, Chris, Chrissy's going to have to understand something, and so are you, actually. As you get older, you're going to have to learn to accept that nobody's perfect, not even those you love and admire. 